Uh, okay, so you want to start with before we clap and start the fire. I think okay. we've already. I think we've already started. I already opened my beer and a lot of it's gone. Oh, hang on! I'll let me open mine. None of mine's. <laughs> I have one today. All right. What now. That? Oh, clap, clap. <laughs> Day like today, I wish this was all fireball. All fireball. Oh, oh. Had a bad day. oh okay. Um, okay. well, uh, <laughs> and welcome to the, what welcome other do po- our happy fun time hour? What, what other <laughs> podcast yeah. begins like that? This is uh, welcome to Due to <laughs> Underwhelming Demand, the podcast that feels like you do when you turn 40. Yes, yes. That, yeah. what's that feel like, Dave? Yeah. You wonder what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Uh, can you remember a year ago, Rachel, when you turned 40? Uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> you know what? Because of you, David. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're calling me David. Yeah. Better I have, have more of friend. that fear. And my friend uh, listens to the podcast. He's all caught up. And he had his daughter make me a birthday card. And he told her what to write on it. Of course. Like, is she seven now? Six yeah. or seven. Happy birthday, Rachel. She says... Happy 41st birthday, Rachel. Ooh, <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> With yeah. a picture of me and her. It's oh. very, very cute. Nice. So I couldn't get mad at her. But no. I thought, when no. I see that Dave. Oh, David. David, I'm yeah. going to let him have uh, it. Well, yeah. if you're not caught up in the pad- podcast, we recommend starting at episode one and, you know, going in order. Yeah. <laughs> and once you get through all that, it will feel like all of Rachel's 41 years. Yes, it will. <laughs> Great. If, and it and it does a happy ending if you yeah. listen if you listen to them backwards. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. Thanks no. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think we should begin uh, today, uh, Foreman, discussing what's going on in uh, Nova Scotia. That's where you live mm-hmm. in a, yeah. another disaster zone. We've we haven't even done this a whole year, and I've I've been hit with a hurricane yes. and now fire. Yeah, what's like going on and over they're there? complete opposites. Yeah. Really, when you yes, look at it, they couldn't true. be more opposite. Yeah. Well, it turned out one uh, helped to create the perfect storm for these fires. Oh, really? Because Hurricane Fiona in the fall was so destructive and mowed down so many trees. Mm. They've just been lying there drying out for months. Oh, oh. And now when we have since the since before the spring started, I think since March, mm-hmm. we have had like um, it's something like 40 percent the amount of precipitation that we would normally have. Right. Right. At the time of this recording, it is sunny and 35, wow. yeah. day after day after day. Yeah, here too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and yeah. I live 10 minutes away from a still classified out of control wildfire. You oh are 10 goodness. minutes from it. Yes. So they haven't like evacuated you? Like, we didn't need to. It, thank goodness it wasn't traveling in our direction. But yeah. we, so we haven't needed okay. to be evacuated yet. Okay. But multiple other fires have started since this one started, and that was only five days ago. Oh wow. my goodness. So uh That's explain. Scary. I mean if Jeez. you can if you can possibly uh put this into words what what it looks like when you look out your window or what it looks like when you're outside because here of course we don't have we're not having that issue. I mean and and thank goodness we don't have that issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're walking outside to the hazy sunshine where it's not exa- it's hazy but it's not I would imagine it's not, not smoky. Yeah, it's a very thick, hazy here. It's still sunny at the moment. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky right now. Right. Again, right when we're recording this, but it's very, very hazy, like like Toronto thick smog, but it's smoke. Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, wow. there was Sunday afternoon when it started. Similar weather, just an absolutely gorgeous day. Yeah, um, I spent most of the day uh, out picking weeds, mm-hmm. which is real fun. Wasn't that your birthday? I mean, it was it? my birthday. Yeah, actually. what were you doing on your picking, birthday? For? Picking weeds. Well, you know, I had a good. We had a, we had more of a celebration on Saturday, and I woke up okay. a little groggy on Sunday. Oh, right, okay. So you thought yeah. picking weeds would help? Okay. No, I yeah. assume somebody in the family thought picking weeds would help. <laughs> no, it was me. Because okay. once once I got started, I'm like, well, I did this section. Now yeah. I need to I need Keep to get going. rid of these dandelions and these ones and these ones. Because no. we have one of those next door neighbors where they don't have grass; they just have dandelions. Oh yeah. So yeah. no matter what we do, they right. keep taking over, and yeah. it's very oh. frustrating. Now I'm going to take yeah. some beer. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> need yeah. another drink. Yeah, oh, he needs it. He's having yeah. a bad day. Bad day. So it's like three thirty Sunday afternoon, and now we know what actually happened. That in another subdivision, ten minutes from here, um, and these roofers had spotted it. And the rumor going, this is how bad the internet is, because the rumor immediately going around was like, whatever these roofers did, they caused the fire to oh. start. Oh. Ouch. They did not. They were the ones that noticed the fire, alerted mm. the residents, called 911, and went door to door getting people out of their houses. Well, good for wow. Them. Good, yeah. for them. Yeah. good for them. If you look up some videos of like Nova Scotia roofers, wildfire, you'll see they went around and took the video of how, I don't know how it started. It's like some, on the edge of some guy's yard that's on the edge of woods, essentially. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a fire started. And within like 30 seconds, it's like multiple 50 foot trees on fire. Wow. And they're like, get get out. And wow. that's oh, that's why goodness. this started. So now the fires got up to eight hundred and something hectares, which is like eight square kilometers, mm-hmm. right through a suburban residential neighborhood. That's incredible. And so, it, you know, wow. That's two hundred two hundred houses. Uh, oh, at least wow. at least over one hundred and fifty of them are homes. Two hundred structures lost. Oh, oh my goodness! My goodness. There's sixteen thousand people evacuated. Mm-hmm. Um, one small neighborhood got to go home uh, last night. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even cry are... on the radio. Sorry. I... Oh no! It's well. It's you know. It's Halifax isn't that big. Yeah. You know, it's probably the size of London. It's the right? size of London. Yeah. Yes. So, so if it's it, taking if a whole were to neighborhood. Here, we we would be upset too. Oh no! Kidding. That's awful. Yes. It's... Yeah. And so are the houses gone? Like the people that got to go home, their houses were okay, I, I assume. Yeah, but most of that that's a, was a very small portion that got to go home that the fire okay. never reached to, but they, it was on, you know, it was going in that direction. Yeah. Oh. Um, and do you know people who have had to be evacuated? Yeah, some of the guys I work with, uh, I mean, well, one of the guys I work with, he has been evacuated, our sales manager at the radio station. Mm. Oh, my. They don't know. They don't know if their house is there or not. The people oh, are starting boy. to find out because they're getting cataloged now. Like, okay, which ones did they save? Because firefighters did, they saved a lot of homes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's stories of like, you know, the house next door, gone. But this one house is still there because they basically pumped water from their pool and saved the house. And then yeah. the one on the other mm-hmm. side is gone. So they saved homes wow. where they could. So people are starting to find that out. You know, there's appeals from the Red Cross and the United Way. Right. I think today now, any donation you make to the Red Cross, the federal government's going to uh, match it. Okay, so well, that's good. No, that's a very good idea if we you would like to. Uh, there's a lot of people We're that need help. Here, yeah, so you can yeah. Donate. Redcross.ca and UnitedWayHalifax.ca okay. has a, a good fund going as well. Oh, wow. Uh, it's nice to see the support because every evacuation center, community center where people are supposed to be able to go to take refuge and, and stay completely overwhelmed with donations oh that's or great. you're calling them and say what do you guys need today yeah. they say nothing we have too much stuff wow good. okay well, yeah. that's, that's nice. good that's i'm nice. glad to hear that so it's really good yeah yeah but it's I, getting the people back in their homes and then they you know them having to rebuild they will need help personally because mm-hmm. right? they're now because you're starting to see the pictures of like well yeah. there's where our house was and now it's gone and now it's just yeah. complete it looks exactly like what you saw with fort mcmurray yeah. wildfire stuff it's okay. exactly that well, yes. uh, listen here, uh, and we're we're going through a you know a, a very a long I would say a reasonably long dry spell where we haven't had rain for probably I don't know I have no idea a couple of weeks week yeah. and a half. I have no idea. Um, is there any prospect for uh, a break in the weather? Yeah, I mean the forecast shows that by the time you're listening to this, especially if you're listening to this on Tuesday, we should be getting almost a full week of rain. Oh, good. This, oh, I mean, and that's week, a terrible yeah. thing to say, but no, if you need it. You need it. You need oh it. my right. goodness! Yeah, they yeah. Need it. yeah, because it's not just this. You know, there's one a couple hours away down the south shore um, at the end of the province. That's oh god, it's probably it's got to be over twenty thousand hectares now. It's insanely big. Yeah. Where they're, you know, you can see it on the American news in Massachusetts and, and New put, Hampshire and stuff. They're saying all out? the smoke yeah. is getting in their way. Oh, wow. Uh, they've Crazy. got, there's water bombers from every province and helicopters and firefighters mm-hmm. coming in from provinces and states. Um, there's all kinds of appeals. The premier is, you know, always on every day, updating everybody. You know, stop burning stuff. There's a complete ban on burning, burning in the whole province. There's a complete ban on going in the woods in the whole province. Don't go yes, camping. Don't yeah. go hiking. Don't get on your bike and ride your ATV trails. Wow. Don't flick your darts out the window. No, yeah. certainly don't oh do God, that. Yeah. You wow. can be fined $25,000 right now. As or, you should. Yeah, yeah, you should be. 
it's it's unreal how ma- how bad it is and how much people aren't listening. Well, I, um, I think you never think it's going to happen to you, and even when it's kind of near, you're yeah. like, "Oh, it won't come near me. I'll be fine." You but know? we're so on edge. There's so many other little flare-ups you hear about here yeah. and there, and we're constantly, we're just yeah. Ashley and I are both we're on Twitter all day, every day, trying to figure out what's going on because yeah. we're surrounded by forest. Mm. Like yeah. it's a little clumps of cities inside mm-hmm. pure forests. I have to so. say though, and, I, and and this is just me being probably very yeah. ignorant. This uh, Nova Scotia, or in particular Halifax, which is right on the water, this is not something that I would ever think would happen there. I don't know why. And as you said when you started, maybe mm-hmm. it had, maybe it's the hurricane uh, that caused uh, uh, part of the issue, but it just mm-hmm. seems, um, I don't know. It just does. It seems like the last place that this would happen. Well, the whole problem. I mean, other than where there's a city, the whole province is just pure thick forest. forest. Yeah, and that's true. It's surrounded by true. ocean. Yeah. But yeah. then you know you get into yes, we haven't had much rain, and yeah, Fiona, you know, pummeled a bunch Me- of trees and they're all sitting there dry. Yeah. It's the yeah. perfect storm. You know, we, yeah. that's how it, it is. And the pro- and then you find out, oh, we don't even own a water bomber as a province. They're all from New Brunswick or Nova or uh, Newfoundland or whatever. We need mm-hmm. firefighters from Maine and PEI and stuff. Wow. I mean, we have some resources, but they're very thin and we're completely mm-hmm. overwhelmed. Well, it's a small place. Um, that's I, yeah, I mean, I, that's terrifying, especially it, when you know uh, a big yeah. one is ten minutes from you. Yeah, and you don't know how quickly. I mean, you know how quickly fire spreads, but you don't mm-hmm. know how. How and we're not, it is. and we're not downtown. Like we're in a similar neighborhood, surrounded by forest. So right. anything anywhere sparks up again, I don't it could know. happen. You could well, be affected, yeah. uh, oh. I, we are all thinking of you. Just so you know, uh, immediately when I started hearing about this, I my thoughts turned to you. Uh, I assumed you were okay because you know uh, I see your social media and and that stuff. But uh, I understand that you would be certainly fearful that mm-hmm. something could happen at any time so for we're sure. we are uh, uh we're thinking of you and again thinking of you foreman all of your neighbors and and co-workers and you said so united way we can donate to and the red united cross. Way halifax united way halifax.ca uh, the but red the red cross. cross is where the federal government is a uh, matching donation so red cross.ca okay. that's good and i haven't know. you know my co-host goes off on mat leave so i have no one to vent this stuff to so now i'm spewing it all at you guys well, that is perfectly okay that's <laughs> why tell us. that's yeah. why we're here so yes. i'm going to blame melody <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. Fair. That's fair you've been holding it all in all morning oh yeah <laughs> This is Due to Underwhelming Demand, the podcast that sort of feels like you do when you turn 40. You know, it sucks. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't suck yet. It, it hurts. It, it, hasn't, it well, hurts. I yeah, do have it, some it ailments. Is, but it yeah. Is, yeah, sure <laughs> you really do. Complain about. You got to turn it up because sure. I can't really hear anything Do you know anymore. what, actually? <laughs> this elbow kind of hurts because this is my latest <laughs> ailment, and I think uh, it's from holding my cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's... Pretty, Isn't that awful? Pretty sad. Yep. Sad, sad, sad. First sad. world problem. Yeah. Right. Anyway, we're Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. We are. Have you ever gone shopping in the Lost and Found? <laughs> Pardon me? Have you ever gone shopping in the Lost and Found? Um, and I <laughs> ask this because our, at our, my kid's school, and as you may or may not know, I am now the vice president of our home and school association. <laughs> Who's not, who's not I don't that even know how I ended up there. But like I, you're, that was a good the idea. Vice president? The vice president? Only because I didn't want to be the president. So <laughs> someone else finally was like, okay, I'll do it. I thought you were just like the treasurer no. or something. Oh, no. I am the vice president. <laughs> Wow. I'm running a lot of things. Good for you. Well, I'm not running it, but I guess I'm... I, I, I don't know. How do you... Like, do you go to... Like, how does that happen? Like, you... Uh-huh. you do you go to a I'm meeting? I'm not really sure how it happens. Like, if you go to a meeting, do what I do. Sit in the back. Yeah. And don't raise your so hand first... unless you must go to the bathroom. Otherwise, right. never put your hand up. Mm-hmm. It's like going to an auction. If you've ever been to an auction, don't put your hand up. Oh, yeah. Well. Bad so idea. The first time I ever went to a, a uh, it, was, it was a parent council at that time, a meeting. Another parent asked me to go and she said, hey, do you want to you want to come? It's tonight. Like anyone can go to the meetings. And I was like, "Okay, yeah, I'll go with you. Like I'm thinking I'm just walking into this 
for informational purposes, it'll be like in the gym, like with a bunch of people, and I'll just sit in a row in the back, as you said. And keep your mouth shut. Fun girls night out. Yes. Yeah, I was like, sure. At the time, Julia was in grade, my oldest was in grade, it was in JK. Just started school. Ooh, and, I w- yeah, I wouldn't. And now have gone. she's in grade four, so I, I am still there. That I wouldn't. Gives have, you an that's, indication. that's why you shouldn't have gone. Oh you yeah. Just you. I know, but I didn't know that. And then the girl that <laughs> made me go with her is no longer a part of it. She's left. Yeah. So I show up to this meeting. This isn't even what I was going to talk about. She recruited her replacement. You know she that's what happened, right? Me. Yeah, she recruited me <laughs> to get out. So I show up to this meeting, and it's at a fucking boardroom table. Like now, Whoa. I got to sit around the table. It yeah. is not a presentation I, for I, informational purposes. So we go through the meeting. I'm just sitting there, kind of taking it all in, not participating. Then we get to elections. And <laughs> someone says, we need a fundraiser. Who wants to be in charge of fundraising? She whiz. If you've ever fundraised for school, no that's thanks. like the main job of the parent council, pretty much. <laughs> or home and school, which is what we are now. If and, your uh, eyes could have burned a hole in that like, table looking all, straight down at it. Yeah. First of all, when so you walk like, in. When you... Anybody? Anyone? Would, anyone want to do it? You, How you... about Aaron's new friend, Rachel? Oh. Like, I am not. What? I don't know anything about fundraising. I'm only here for, for informational purposes. This is when you walk in and you see that it's in a boardroom. You immediately go. Does anybody else have a problem with an open sore? Because I happen to have an one. Or would you like me to leave? <laughs> That's how you get out Should of I that. Quarantine myself in the yeah. next room until you guys this meeting mind. is over. Anyway, that's how I got roped into this. So over the years, I've done fundraising. I'm now the vice president. I've done other wow. things. Anyway, so so now I'm the vice president. Anyway, so <laughs> at our school. This was not even what I was going to talk about. But if you're on the parent council, you were definitely roped in somehow. And you're, I, I feel you. I know what it's like. Is this one of the lessons that you're teaching us as being uh, Madame Vice President here? Is that everybody on every kid's council does not want to be there? Mm, no, not everybody. No, I think there are some no. that do want to be there. Yeah, and you know who they like, are. Oh, well, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want to be there. I yes. don't mind helping, but I never thought I would be where I am now. But Ever. those people's kids haven't gone to that school in 30 years. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. The people who really want to be there are the ones you don't want there. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's kind of uh-huh. how that goes. Our yeah. first meeting if with them. They're the... really hardcore about it. Yeah. You don't want to deal with them. Our first meeting with parents of Harley swim team was over zoom thank god because you sign on with your microphone off and your camera off and the f- one of the first topics brought up by the guy who is the treasurer is would anyone else like to be treasurer oh <laughs> yeah that was our last meeting <laughs> that's when hey, all of a sudden our whole executive but if anyone Whoa. wants our positions we will gladly give them up computer's not working i have an open <laughs> sore i mean there's so many excuses you could <laughs> and use half the parents signed off that's yeah right. that's right <laughs> anyways i was going to talk about um uh the lost and found <laughs> okay yeah, let's get to that yeah in charge of that too at our, no i'm not thank goodness because yeah, it's, it's humongous and growing all the time the 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 lost and found at my kids school is like a treasure trove of name brand clothing everything like any kind of anything you would take to school <laughs> and it's all it's all fairly good stuff actually like you've got um uh, like nike sweaters or or like lululemon things oh like wow got, like it, oh it's all kinds of stuff then you've got just regular t-shirts you you'll get like one boot or like a, a glove, right? A scarf, hats. Like winter time, it's big. Every month, I swear to God, we're posting on our Facebook page. Is is here's a photo of the lost and found. Please claim what's yours, because <laughs> parents aren't at the school very often, <laughs> and the kids just walk by it like eh, nothing's mine. I've got all my stuff, but they don't yeah. know, right? They don't know if they have it or not. And nobody, like some of the stuff is claimed, but not a lot. And then by the end of the school year, they're almost begging for people to just take whatever you want because we have to get rid of this and find eventually donate well, it. Hopefully, it gets donated, and that it that does would get donated. that's the ideal way for it to go. But I can but remember it, stuff belongs to the children at the school. Like somebody yes. in this building owns these. Have you not notice you're lo- missing these things as the parents like. We did. I mean, Sometimes we would. The we would comment know. on the photo and be like, "Oh yeah, that hat belongs to my kid," or whatever. Right. We we knew that. Char- we would ask uh, Charlotte when she was uh, much younger, uh, "Where's your mitts? Mm-hmm. Where's your pink hat?" Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know where. And then we would have um, 
something at the school, either they were performing or there was something and it was a parent teacher thing or whatever. And you'd go to the school and you and walk by the uh, lost and found. And I yes. would, cause I knew she's missing this or missing that and yes. glance in the and you'd lost have to and go found. Look. And there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. You have to and look a little bit, purpose, but, it's, but it's always there. Yes. They know the always parents there. are coming that day. So they spread it all out. It's so always you there. You can see and check, check for your, your, but item. it was amazing how much stuff was in that lost oh, yeah. and found. Mm -hmm. It's, and the kids have no idea. Like who goes, who's went home with one boot? And yeah. left the other one. Well, how about, when, how about when backpacks? Little, mm -hmm. Who came yeah. home without a backpack? Yeah, lunch pails. <laughs> when little lunch? David used to come home with one boot, it, no one cared because he just hadn't cobbled the other one yet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> True. That's right. All right. Sure. Anyway, so by the end of the year, <laughs> pick on the old it's guy. May, it's That's June right. now, right? So now yeah. we're just like, okay, please take something out of here. Like, this has got to belong to somebody. It does clearly. Well, so lost gone shopping in a lost and found because when stuff's there for long enough, the people just want to give it away. Well, no, lost and lost and founds uh, aren't just at schools; they're at businesses as well, especially yes, if it's yeah. a big business. Sure. I don't want to name names. I don't want to uh, uh, point fingers or mention anybody, but I I am aware <laughs> of someone who may have come but... home with something or other that, and and I would go, where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Mm -hmm. Uh, I wonder, I'm trying to think of a big business like, uh, I don't like a hospital is a big building. Know. Yeah. Anyway, I don't, yeah. I don't really want to go through any of that because right. I don't want to, you know, certainly don't want to. But yes, I think, you know, if people aren't aware that there is a lost and found, if they lose, if you genuinely leave something, say at work mm -hmm. and think that it's lost, but there is a lost and found. <laughs> I mean, maybe there you is. don't know there's lost. Yes, maybe you don't maybe know the it. Lost and found is overflowing at some point. So well, you would think that a, at, a, by shopping at a big place like well, I don't know, say a, you could say a hospital, you could say anything if you wanted to. <laughs> they would let you. Hey, we have this big lost and found. Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff in there if right. you want to check. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to check if anything might be yours? <laughs> Plenty I of might name think it is. name brand fashions. You never yep. know what you're gonna find. <laughs> yes, we like to call it winners. <laughs> Yes, that's, that's what it is. That's what you call it. That is. That is. Yes. Yeah, it that is, is like it. picking through a thrift yeah. store. That's what. It, that's right. Fashion. Find it's, fabulous for nothing. That's for right. Nothing. Winners. That's winners even is better than winners. Winners is just one great big lost and found. <laughs> wow. Ooh, they put tags on it. <laughs>。This is due to underwhelming demand. The podcast that's. You know, kind of like turning 40. You're listening. Only now you just can't remember why. No, now you just don't give yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says I turned 40 like having to make your own graphic about turning 40 that's for social right. media. <laughs> that's right. That's a fact. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's it right. looked really good, though, Rachel. You yeah, looked great. It looked yeah, really, okay. really, really good. Well, I know yeah. that you guys aren't going to do any social media, so. No, yeah, yeah. We weren't gonna <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I believe you were 39 in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. true. Yeah. Hey, you know what? It's, uh, it's time for some headlines. Awesome. Headlines. Uh, I don't make these up. I don't have to. Nope. These are real, actual headlines. In fact, someone sent me a headline. And oh, you can okay. send headlines to me. I, I, you People send do headlines. send us headlines. Yeah. I love it when Sometimes. I get sent because that you're doing what little work I do. You're doing it for me. Uh -huh. So <laughs> uh, don't forget our email. It's Dave Rachel and Foreman at gmail dot com. No, Dave Rachel Foreman. Oh yeah, no and okay, no and, and no we on the uh, Foreman. Uh, you can also buy us a coffee and do our work for us and pay us for it. Yeah, all right. Or sponsor <laughs> us too. Uh, yes, this absolutely. is this is courtesy of Debbie Gandon. So thank you, Debbie. Here okay. we go. A uh, man allegedly tried to switch places with his dog when he was pulled over for speeding and showed signs of intoxication. Headlines. The dog? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a dog uh, would probably drive like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the so. dog, not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, you know, sometimes you know he forgets to signal. <laughs> uh, woman. Stay between the lines. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Woman turns 102 mm. and credits love of good sex and good sherry. <laughs> That's okay. an actual headline. Well, whatever gets you there, I guess. Sex and sherry, hand in glove. 
That's right. I uh, <laughs> hand in glove. Um, That's so funny. Uh, this is a good one. Air Air New Zealand weighing passengers before flying. Real oh, headlines. Oh, that's not going to go over well. Yeah. That's not going to no. go over well. No. <laughs> Do they display it for everyone to see? No. They should, wait, they should take what your happened? weight when you're buying the ticket. What if what? they're overweight with all these people? Yeah. What? And what then you've I, already got a ticket. Like what I don't know. Do? What happens when you when they you know when they say uh, you can't go on? <laughs> like, yeah. What, yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah. Uh, Were you guys sorted by weight on a plane? Yes. I don't know. I was. Uh, yes, I was. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They made you move. They made you sit in the back corner. <laughs> Me and this other guy. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to sit with Dave. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, deputies accuse man of using Nintendo Duck Hunt pistol to rob a business. Headlines. But everybody knows what that is. How can you rob a business with that? You just laugh at them. I know. Well, Be like, I know that that's gray true. and orange that's Duck true. Hunt pistol. I guess we found out about it, so I suppose it didn't I, work. It didn't work. <laughs> U.S. Marshals capture escaped Summit County inmate after he stops at McDonald's. That's an actual yes. headline. <laughs> because what's the, out, I mean, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of here? Yeah. Uh, that's I mean, right. The inmate stopped at McDonald's? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's hungry. He hasn't had a good meal. That's where they captured him. No, I don't want to get too sidetracked, but there is a very (laughs) similar headline. I'm pretty sure it was three escaped convicts all got arrested because they stopped at IHOP. Real (laughs) headlines. And that's not surprising either. Uh, At least it wasn't Waffle House because I would peg them for Waffle House. Well, Apple. North Vancouver toothpaste thief caught with $2,100 worth of tubes. That's, um, that's out. Uh, what are you doing with that much toothpaste? Do you think? I don't know. Maybe it's more expensive in Vancouver. Maybe uh, it that could much. be. <laughs> Prices are so high so right now. Weird. Yeah. Uh, another tourist following GPS directions mistakenly drives car into Hawaii Harbor. Another headline. That happens a lot. It's not the first time. <laughs> yeah, it happens a lot. I love this one. Complaints lead to no sex signs on nude beach. <laughs> Real headlines. Uh, this is okay. I That's feel like a, those signs should have been up already on the nude beach. Well, yeah, but I think what it's not a, a regular just beach. because it's a nude me- beach doesn't mean you know it's no. Well, maybe it does. No holds barred. I don't. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. know I don't know. I'm gonna bother to go. Then I'm gonna do what I want. Yeah. Yes. I'm not wearing. It's easier. I mean. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's right. It's, it's yeah. He he was right over there. What could? <laughs> It's pretty easy to see if someone's interested in you. Yes. Please. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which leads to this one. Please wear clothes in your driver's license photo, Georgia <laughs> officials urge. Headlines. The DMV in the States. Okay, they... With no clothes on to get their yeah. photo taken. Well, some guys like to take their shirt off. How did you know, they get show far enough their, in uh, there? I don't know. Without I don't. clothes. I, I, don't I actually read that headline. Um, in Georgia, they now let you take your own. Picture. Yeah, you can take your own. What? Yeah, you oh, can okay. take your own. Is yeah, an even worse own. idea. Yes. Okay. Obviously. Yep, yeah, obviously. Okay. A man who opened plane door over South Korea says he wanted out quickly. That's an actual headline. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. That will. That will do it. <laughs> Although, uh, if he's telling us what happened, he didn't get out quickly, did he? No. <laughs> No. I'm just saying. Over South Korea, you said he was. Yeah, over, over South Korea. A huh. uh, man shoots roommate in butt for taking last hot pocket. Real headlines. You don't mess with hot pockets, boring. okay? That's right. Yeah. Don't take my last, last hot pocket. Last one? Come on. Shoot you right in the ass. <laughs> don't be an asshole. That's right. Oh, ouch. Uh, hotel. Ah, hotel. I'll, g- I'll give you one, yeah. Hotel guests thought his feet smelled <laughs> until body was found under bed. Oh, oh. Uh, in a awful. hotel. Too soon on that one. Think, <laughs> I don't maybe. care when yeah. you say it. It's gross. Which hotel? <laughs> well, it's well, that's I don't, very I don't important have that. information. I, it's yeah. just a headline. I don't have. I don't have the story. Hotel manager arrested after sucking on sleeping guests' toes. That's an actual headline. What? <laughs> How which hotel? Even, which how did it which get to the point where he got it? Which room hotel would you like to be in? The one with the body under the bed, or the one with the guys going from room to room sucking on toes? Oh, I... yeah, sure, exactly. it's not the same hotel. Maybe it is. Could be. 
<laughs> off, off to Florida we go. Okay, all Time right. to go you to mean Florida. We haven't visited yet. No, <laughs> uh, yet. these are okay. not from there. Uh, Florida City. Now that's different. Florida City installs road sign to warn drivers of smartphone zombies. Real headlines. I don't know. Oh, they have signs. Yeah. Smartphone, huh. smartphone zombies. zombies. Yeah. Like we're the zombies because we're on them. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Smartphone. Oh, zombies. like pedestrians are. Okay. Yeah. You got to watch for them. They're coming for you. Yeah. You are, you, you are it. Yeah, maybe okay. they are coming for you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, some Florida men who made some uh, poor decisions. This okay. is kind of. Well, this is a subgroup. Them, right. A subgroup. A subsection of okay. uh, Florida. Uh, all, right. all right. Florida attorney who fought Florida helmet laws died in motorcycle crash while not wearing one. So, you know, there's, well, there's that. It's not, not you, funny. You made your bed. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Florida man fishing hospitalized after the shark he reels in and yeah. sets aside on the dock bites him in the foot. That's an actual headline. Shark's not generally something you just set aside. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't think Shark so. I wouldn't here. think so. I'm going to leave that there. Put this One more. Guy over here on yeah. the Save it for later. One more uh, poor decision. <laughs> Florida man whose arm was chopped off by oh. Gator oh, was boy. peeing in pond because the line at the bar was just too long. Real headlines. Gator didn't like that. <laughs> no. It just was a <laughs> poor decision. Pee on my house. Yeah. Did just, you... Uh, you know, like if he had only waited in line, he'd have an arm or two. <laughs> Did you see? He would have to, but That's also right. the one that was missing. That's yeah, right. right. Did you happen to see what he said to the news? Yes, he said uh, <laughs> I can't wait something, to hear that. something like, uh, he's okay with it. He's like, so I lost an arm. It's not the worst not, thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be thrilled. If I had lost an arm, I, I wouldn't know. be... No, like, of course not. Especially with my right arm. I can't... Yeah. can't that's yeah, my right still hand. got one left to smoke a dart with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's right. That's what matters. Why isn't he waving? Priority. I don't know. He's smoking a dart. Uh, <laughs> Florida man wearing no pants goes on the attack with a shovel. Headlines. Well, that's missing. I, I, I believe yeah. that's missing a, a, a gator. gator. Or two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's not right. being drunk. A gator. Or yeah. Something, yes. A uh, Florida woman wears pink dress, steals tractor. That's I love this headline. headline because if you're going <laughs> to steal a tractor, you want to look good. Yes, do it in style. That's, <laughs> That's right. I agree. Yeah. If you're going to do it, you got to look good. <laughs> They're going to notice it's gone. You might That's as well right. You might as well look good. Yeah. Hey, what about the, what if you get caught? Well, I'm uh-huh. going to look good yeah. in the photo, right? I'm going right. to look good. Your mug shot. <laughs> That's look, right. Yeah, you're done up. Florida man finds hissing iguana in his toilet. Real headlines. I would be, I would be very unhappy. That's very about upsetting. That. that is upsetting. I would be upset to find an iguana in my toilet, but yes. if it's hissing, I'd be even more upset. Well, did, did he pee on like, it? Like if you're peeing on the iguana, like, no wonder it's hissing at you. I just feel like the hissing part is a, uh, you know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that headline again is Florida man relieved to only yeah, find hissing iguana in his yeah, toilet. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> foreman always looking on the bright side. That's right. <laughs> Not well a headlining foreman, yeah. Way to go, That's foreman. Right. Florida woman ramps her car off the back of tow truck, flips into the air Dukes of Hazard style, lands 120 feet away, but doesn't stick the landing. Oh, I know. That's so disappointing. Don't what a great, would have been a great headline if she just away. kept driving. Yeah. And is still at large. Still at large. <laughs> That's right. Fierce, fierce Florida beast attacking Florida <laughs> residents revealed as domestic cat with an attitude. That's an actual headline. Pulls, though. Mm-hmm. That's twice in this segment you've used that, Rachel. Sorry. Yes, yeah. you're right. Okay. I shouldn't. I'm going right. to stop. Yeah. Uh, you need to, you know, improve your, you know, vocabulary. swear vocabulary. You need yeah. more. You need different ones. Well, it was appropriate both times. Okay. Yeah. Florida True. man kicked out of SeaWorld for fishing. Real headlines. <laughs> yes, that's frowned upon there. Was that, was I not supposed to do that? Because I'm sorry, there are no signs saying I can't do <laughs> that here. You know where was I, I not fish. supposed I, to do that? You know where there's a plethora like I, of fish. Yeah, because clearly I don't catch. see, I don't see a sign here saying no fishing. Yep. 
I Am mean, I right? That's probably Was true. Was I not supposed to do that? Look how big they are. How <laughs> could I resist? That's if right. somebody walks into SeaWorld with a fishing rod. <laughs> well, I don't know how they get in. That's true. <laughs> right? Like, you got it. I'm thinking about Who it. Let might him in be with a, that? Yeah, yes. that might be the tip I don't, You can't hide that, I don't think. Unless, Maybe. Do they fold up? Yeah. Maybe. Some. Yeah, they some do. Of some of them fold Children's up. Children's ones. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. they do. All right, one more. Florida man arrested at Miami International Airport when the 29 Amazon parrot eggs he was smuggling began to hatch. <laughs> Headlines. Well, I thought you meant he ordered something from Amazon, but they're no. from the Amazon jungle. Yes, Amazon parrot eggs. <laughs> no, you don't order those on Amazon. <laughs> Well, maybe you do. I don't. What do I know? I don't you, know where you get them. Are you the domestic beast that's <laughs> with attitude? No, not Amazon. <laughs> I still thought it was funny, even picturing it from Amazon. Well, it doesn't matter because <laughs> yeah. I don't know where he was trying to smuggle them, but they yeah, were but hatching. He obviously had already smuggled them into Florida. Were they um, also, the only thing the story is missing the is they're just Amazonian and they said, hatching Amazon parrots in pants. Yes. <laughs> I'm disappointed pants? that it doesn't say been. pants. Oh, yeah, okay. The 29 That's Amazon true. parrot eggs hatching in his pants. <laughs> That's a he waited headline. too long. Like you got to know when they're gonna hatch. <laughs> he waited too That's long. That's right. That's what it was. <laughs> This is Due to Underwhelming Demand, the podcast with Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. Thank you, thank you. If you have downloaded and are listening, we appreciate your uh, your support. And, of course, you can always, uh, if you know somebody that's w- uh, interested, willing, wants to sponsor this fine podcast, uh, get a hold of us, Dave, Rachel, Foreman at gmail.com. Yeah, it's actually, it's, it's well worth it because we have lots of um, very passionate and loyal listeners so thank you for listening and making that uh, possible for us to uh, monetize essentially so that we can keep this going um one of our very first sponsors was calves for a cause of yes course. yes and they had their sale at the beginning of april daryl daryl and sarah marcus uh sell uh, do this calf sale and all the money goes to all the proceeds go to um, the Children's Health Foundation for Children's Hospital here in London. Right. And so Daryl has gotten back to me about how it went. Mm. All right. So if you remember, this was the third year. The first year they made $71,000 for the hospital. The second year they made $35,000 for the hospital. And this year, over $65,000. Hey! Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, over $65,000. So he let us know that it was a great success. And thank you so much. And he's been... Uh, hearing from other people that they heard it on our podcast and that's how they donated and that's you know, great. gets around. So that's awesome. I'm thrilled that we were able to get them back over the 35,000 mark, which was yeah. awesome. So yeah. over 65, 65. come yeah, on. He, all he said was 65,000 plus. Well, yeah. so congratulations. Still got stuff coming in. I don't know. Well, congratulations to Daryl and Sarah yeah. for doing all of that work and putting it all together. That's uh, and we're happy to be yes. a part of it. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm thrilled for them. Wow. Well, we've uh, we've heard from lots of other people on many other topics as well. Uh, so you can always chime in, leave a comment on any of our social media or the yes. email address again. Yes. Uh, two out of three of us have had birthdays recently. Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. Um, someone did some very fine graphics for herself on her own birthday. Yeah. Who's <laughs> and not, mine. Who wouldn't do that? You too. I, yeah. I was wondering to see if like, should am I, I'm going to wait and see if something pops yeah. up or I'm going to have to find a picture that uh, you won't like. I, I, yeah, I figured it. Uh, I love the one I had uh, posted okay. anyway. Yeah, so okay. it started with mine. Um, Graham says, love Graham. Happy birthday. Hope it's filled with horseback riding and a Costco trip. <laughs> or the complete opposite. Whatever brings a smile to your face, like the ones you bring to all of your listeners. Oh, isn't that nice? Thanks. Isn't that nice? Aww. I would used to call I, us all the time, too. Yeah. That's, that's I would too. love, love, love for you to ride a horse into Costco. Oh that God, would be the... That is something we should plan on doing. Can I get a video of yeah. you riding Windsor at yeah. some point? Into Costco in Ottawa, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Next time you you're home, I need yeah. a video of you riding Windsor just, I don't care where you go. Actually. No, I think it needs to be Costco. I think for for me and me, it's <laughs> got to be Costco. Tim's drive through. Yeah, no Costco. I'd like. Are you that. too fucking done? Yeah, uh, probably. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> happy birthday, Rachel! It's mine today too, says oh. Miranda Shearing. Oh. But she's only thirty nine. Okay. And yeah. wants you to know that. Shut up, Miranda. <laughs> Chris Grimmick <laughs> says, "Happy birthday, Mister Costco." 
Yeah. Oh, there you now go. you have. Everybody loved your now. Costco rant. I think now you have a, Now you have a good handle. Have a That's thing. good. That's good. Tom says, "Happy birthday, Foreman. Hope your wife takes you to the keg." <laughs> I hope so too. I hope she doesn't. She loves you. Well, speaking of what she uh, did do for my birthday and how much she loves me, mm. I don't know if you happen to see any of the uh, pictures going around because even she was the one that decided to text everyone a picture of uh, what happened to the cake she was working on. Oh yeah, yeah what she happened? Told your me about it. Yeah, your she, cake had an incident. She baked a cake. Yes. Iced the cake. Yes. Left it on the counter beside the sink that was yes. uh, full of hot soapy water. Yes. <laughs> and the cake fell into the sink full of oh, hot soapy cake. water. Yeah. Fell into the sink. Nice. Now you got <laughs> sink cake. You can't salvage that as good as floor cake. <laughs> no. Floor cake, still edible. Sink <laughs> cake. Sink cake is not <laughs> edible. So it's not edible. No. No. Yeah. That's so funny. Well, that's all. <laughs> as it should be.